and um, his name is Brother William Anza, and uh, he's the um, CEO of Oval Shipping and Marines. Let's give him a round of applause. Uh, I'm William, William Anza. Uh, I would say a CEO for Oval Shipping because my colleagues are not here with me. But I have here one of my mates, uh, Evans is here, and I can see fellow students joining us. Uh, so over from the name is talking about OVEL, talking about over. We cover everything regarding shipping from there down here, import, export, and all other aspects with regards to shipping. But we handle a lot of vessels in Ghana. We are shipping agents, agency, we do husbandry, crew chain, and if I want to talk about shipping, we do a lot of all the aspects of shipping. We do and we do a lot of project work. Currently, actually, we drove from Sakrade to get it. That was a very near error because we needed to get it because uh, my brother has worked with him almost four years. We've helped a lot of our brothers from there to bring their goods over here. Uh, most of them in, living in uh, Eastern region, Mampon, uh, Cape Coast. Uh, they've all changed their name. That's one funny thing. Louise, they come and they now bear the Ghanaian name, so they change all their names and we've been, we've been, it's been so good dealing with my brother over here. So, that is, to, to, I'm just going to make it a brief, then probably if you have any other question you want to, then I can actually help you to actually understand it more. So basically, with you coming down here, it's more about bringing your personal effect. That is mostly what actually happens when it comes, when we, we meet you people at, like this. It's more about you bringing in your personal effect. And I will put it in this way. It's two ways. We have two legs. That is there. At the port of loading, it's one leg. And there is a uh, port of discharge, that is another leg. So you need to get a rep or an agent, as we call it, at the port of loading to handle all the aspects of your loading or shipping from there. You need to get a rep. And we can recommend, we have a network all over. So we can recommend based on your state where you are, then maybe you can talk to them or you can even get one there and probably we can do, as Madame said, due diligence about the person then whatever they tell you, we can help you out over there. Get your goods, pack them, how you load, uh, how you need to pack them. And probably there's one question that they, let me just chip in, most of them ask, do we need to buy the container or do we need to hide the container? I understand this. When you are shipping, the container belongs to the carrier. You have MSC, I've actually worked with PI, I've worked with Shara Globis for 10 years. I've been in the industry almost 19 years and counting. So the container belongs to a carrier. If you are not using a carrier's container, then you are buying the, the, the container and it becomes an SOC, shipper's own container. And most of the people that I advise, most of the time, when I meet you about like this, what I advise, because you are acquiring land, you want to settle and those things, it's better you get your own container. Because most of the time, you have the land, you have the property. I remember we did it with Lewis in mountains like this. He brought his containers, it was about two containers, and it was a shipper's own container, but he has the land. So what he did was that we transferred the whole goods and the container onto the land. Because at that time, he hasn't built. So he sent the container, it's for, it's for you. Because you bought it over there, that's a shipper's own container, so you can Put it there. Once you build it, it becomes an asset. You can use it for your store or anything that you want to. So his container now, that was the first room that he was because later after removing the items, you just have to fix an air condition used now to producing uh, pure water with that container he has built just beside it. So that is how it is. Most of them have that. Is a container belong to me? Doesn't mean that understand. Once you are shipping, it belongs to a carrier. If you are not using the carrier's container, you can go in and get a container, they sell it over there for you. You get yourself, uh, stuff your container, then you bring it. So that is the first leg. Once you do it, that's the first leg, you get here. 
So when it gets here, you have the career in question has some charges that you need to pay because then after career charges, you have a terminal because a terminal that is going to handle your container. Then after terminal handling your container, then you have, uh, based on the items that are in, you have some other MDAs, some other agencies, whether Standard Board, EPA, uh, Food and Drugs Authority, there are other authorities, authorities depending on the cargo or the commodities that you have in the container, you also need to register with them and get a, a, is it a permit or certified before you can clear it. But the government now has made it so simple in a way. It wasn't like first that you need to hand, uh, send money or give the money to an agent to do everything for you. Now you can pay it yourself. It's a matter of preparing a duty for you wherever you are in Ghana, you have your money, you just enter the bank, you pay. If it is a uh, food and grass board, you pay. If it is the shipping line, you pay. So the only thing maybe you can hand it over to the agent is maybe the agent fee that you are paying to the person. And I mean, Dr. Asari made it clear, we are here as over to give you the right knowledge. That is the most important. It's not about you giving us the way because I've had a lot of encounter with most of our brothers like they come they listen and they will go and get stuck and my brother will call me William can you help my brother is at Tema Port this is what is happening and I quickly go I think last two he was, uh, last two Mr. he's also changed the name he's called Kweku Kweku something but he was clearing the car for the dad the dad was in he brought a family car and he got frustrated at the port and have to be there with him throughout the whole day just for him to be okay, just because of the recommendation from my brother here. So just to cut things short, overall is here for you. I don't know what questions, what is bothering, what is the difficulties that you have with regards to shipping and whatever you are bringing in. We handle a lot of uh, anything regarding shipping is what we do, and that is what we are we have been doing for all these years. Uh, Karen, we are actually in Tapak because we are handling a project. We are among the three that move bauxite from Ghana. We handle vessels bauxite from Ghana to China and to India. We handle we handle those vessels. So currently we are having a project. We have a vessel that is carrying badges with full of uh, machines that we need to transfer. So that's what we're doing. But I needed to be here because he has spoken to me for a long time on this thing, and I, I rushed down here. So we are here for you for whatever investment you are coming to do, whatever you are bringing in, whatever knowledge you need. Uh, overall is here for you. You contact me. I think I have some fly a few flyers out there. Maybe after talking, Evans will share it for us to uh, have it. Then I think Daddy want to ask something. But I think, uh, as you said, once we are done, if you have any questions, we can just post Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.